Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Mitch. I'm an alcoholic and I've got daily reflections for you today. This comes from the Daily Reflections book. This is a book of reflections by AA members for AA members. Today's date, March 28th. This one is called Equality. Our membership ought to include all who suffer from alcoholism. Hence, we may refuse none who wish to recover. Nor ought AA membership ever depend upon money or conformity. Any two or three alcoholics gathered together for sobriety may call themselves an AA group, provided that, as a group, they have no other affiliation. That comes from the Alcoholics Anonymous Big Book, page 563. And it continues. Prior to AA, I often felt that I didn't fit in with the people around me. Usually they had more slash less money than I did. And my points of view didn't jive with theirs. The amount of prejudice I had experienced in society only proved to me just how phony some self-righteous people were. After joining AA, I found the way of life I had been searching for. In AA, no member is better than any other member. We're just alcoholics trying to recover from alcoholism. I love this one a lot because, uh, I guess for a couple different reasons, um, Kind of like how I say, you know, we all fit in in AA as long as we share the same same thing, um, an addiction to alcohol or drugs, but in AA alcohol. So when I go there, sometimes I could still see certain people, you know, just because we're all in AA doesn't mean we all have to get along with everyone. That's just not what it is. But, uh, you know, we, we find those like-minded people like us in there. And that's good. And we can also see hypocrisy in anything we look at because there's still people in there that that preach certain things and, and do other things, myself included. You know, none of us are perfect. We're all just sick individuals in AA, but we can all go there and help each other. And we shouldn't hold grudges. We shouldn't be mad at people. We just have to accept everyone for who they are because they are sick just like us. We don't know what someone's going through. We don't know why certain people do the certain things that they do. But that shouldn't affect us because that's just like the serenity prayer. Accept things that uh, we cannot change. And we could change the things we can, which is our reactions to how we deal with certain things. And um, either way, Alcoholics Anonymous is, is great because we can get there and get that, that unity that we need. As long as that's what you want, you know. Right now it's really hard because uh, we're having to do a lot of online meetings because of the coronavirus stuff. I've went to a couple meetings, but it just doesn't feel the same. Um, also, it's just good even doing these videos. I love it. Every day doing one of these helps me a lot. And if it even reaches out to one person, I'm very thankful for that. And I also, I, I didn't feel like I fit in when it says that part in, in society. So that's also why I would drink a lot. And I'm just figuring all this out now because it was an underlining issue. So alcohol was a symptom of my actual issue going on, which was codependency and um, anxiety. And I'm amazed that I, I've cured this now without medication, just with, um, you know, talking to people about it, meditating on it, reading, really working my program. And um, these um, bad things that I've went through, I, I never actually dealt with them in a sober mind. So those really bad situations are actually such a blessing because it has completely changed me and I didn't see it in the moment. I couldn't understand what's going on. I knew I couldn't drink, but now I'm looking back on it and it is such a feeling of freedom and understanding and I have changed and I feel it. I was just talking to someone about it today and I'm just like, man, I can't believe it. You could just change like that. And they talk about it in the big book and and I promise you, this will happen for you guys too. If you really work your program and you're honest with yourself and, and you do these steps, it can change your life and you will completely be a better person. And, you know, you just got to do it one day at a time. I'm so proud of everyone that I talk to on, on Facebook and stuff and people telling me their days and how, how many days they've got and just like sharing stuff like this and getting that support from other people saying, Hey, I got my 30 day chip and how happy they are about it. And you're just so psyched for everyone that's doing it. And you know, that's what it's all about. I'm so happy today, even in the middle of all this crisis that's going on. I think it, it's um, a good time to reflect on how much we love people and how close we can be with people and, 
And um, I might be rambling a bit, but I, I just, these are kind of like my meetings right now as well. So I found out that you have to be comfortable with your own self. And if people don't like it, oh, well, you can't change how they, they feel about you. And if you have anxiety and stuff, you know, drinking's not going to help that. It will only make it worse. It will make your life incredibly worse to the point of jails, institution, or death. And I now live with a happy freedom in myself. And, you know, I'm not worried about money. I'm going to be fine as long as I can have a roof over my head. And I now have future goals that I can, I can do to go help other people and still live comfortably. Because uh, I would also worry about that. And, you know, it'll all be okay as long as we're working our program. And we stay away from that first drink. And remember, it's one day at a time. And I'm very proud of anyone that's working their program right now. And I love all of you guys. And please be safe. And um, God bless you. Goodbye.